Do we have a budget, or does it have to be on the agenda for us to talk about it? Or? Talk about it. it doesn't just, have to be on the budget. It's a matter of personal uh, protocol for the board. I just copied what we've had from year after year after year after year when I sent it to you. So mm -hmm. I didn't make any changes, and I just highlighted in blue and red mm -hmm. the changes. When are we supposed to have our budget to um, the town manager, I believe? Is, is that how we funnel it? A week ago? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well... <laughs> is that the Your same budget way? isn't marked up for consideration until the last week of the month. So. Mm -hmm. so, so why don't we just submit the same budget we had last year? I mean, I think that we need to put some caveats in there about unknowns. I, uh, we need to increase it if we hire yeah. a new planner. Well, the budget that, that you sent us to was $38,000 total. It didn't even have a, a, a planner. Was, yeah. I, what was that, seven ninety eight or seventy two six thirty three? Oh, because I only got the. I must not got it's the. It's a three pager. Pages. Oh, three pages. but it does seem. It still seems light, and I guess I haven't had a chance to review it because I just saw it. This afternoon. Two days ago. Whenever, yeah, whenever it came out, I don't. I don't oh. remember what I. I don't have the cover sheet. I don't we don't know how our department's going to be structured as of right now. I mean, we want to get a planner, and his job description may change. Our administrative assistant's job description may change to planning assistant. I don't know. I'm just talking this out here, throwing this out here. So I think that we should actually have a caveat on there that you know we are, we we're, we're aren't we thinking of asking for some advice from some people? Um, we need to have a work session on on some of that. We got the information about what planners made in other towns. And it basically did no good at all. Right. You know, it said what I, I, I would like to have some sort of professional organization that works with planning and land use boards on what our department should look like and how a town of Hampton should be supported with a planning department. Um, because I don't think in the past it's worked. Either we we when we first started to have a permanent planner, um, it was a great step forward. Um, but I got a feeling that we lucked out the first time around and we got a planner that brought a lot of experience, was young and excited, and um, probably did a lot more than what a traditional planner would have done for that kind of money. Right. Um, and I don't see any big increases in pay since that happens and our applicant pool seems to be the sh very very shallow end of the swimming pool um, I would like to see some applicants that we can get to dive into the deep end and we may need a little bit more stronger dollars to attract someone that's highly qualified um, Uh, Fred, is, is there a mechanism to ask for an extension for our submission to you for the budget? Uh, we, we know, we know. I know you're working on this. This isn't an issue with me. Okay. okay? Uh, when it gets to the board of selectmen, uh, I mean, you'll need to come and sit and chat with them, and so on and so forth. But by then, uh, which is October, we should have some. You know, late September, early October, we should have some pretty good idea about where you'd like to go. Okay. And that goes to the budget committee after that. So. Gotcha. I can, think. Go ahead. Of course, that we find somebody before that. Because <clears throat> yes, enough, enough. We'll, we'll be Keith hit on some interesting points. It's been um, a long time. <laughs> and um, we know, Lori. That we know. With my we, we need to reevaluate the department. Um, we talked at the last meeting about the municipal resources um, firm. It's in Meredith. Um, I've reached out to them. I haven't gotten a response yet as far as where we're at and I guess I think we should get them to write us a proposal for evaluating what our department looks like so we can bring that to the selectmen or to Fred to decide whether or not whatever proposal at whatever cost that is is something we want to pursue to your point about um, the salary increases we didn't comp him we didn't comp the previous planner is their merit increases right so if you're not performing you don't get any increases so I think that's something else that we should be aware of. The, 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 the increases that he might have gotten even cost of living or whatever, 
I mean, it hasn't really kept with the times. That planner position that was created back when Jen took the reins, I assume that's who you were referencing, was that 10, 12, 15 years ago? I mean, is anyone making what they were making back then? We might have had a little blip in there with some of us made less, but I mean. Well, there have been times that people have gone without pay increases and things like that, yep. but I think we've discovered that the, um, the vocation of a planner that wants to work in municipalities has found more gainful employment in private industry, um, so they're shying away from applying for our position because of um, either our job description or our pay salary. But it, to, just to jump back to what Lori said, if I can for a second, do we need to bring someone in to, uh, do we need to bring a temp in to help Lori? And if we need to do that, we need to, to we need to focus on some of that. For or, I, I know it's just a short-term gap, and I, and I know that Christine has been an enormous amount of help, but that's got to affect your department at some point in time. And I don't know if we need to bring in maybe someone's worked in the department before that might be willing to take a stipend. I don't know. I'm just throwing this out there, mm -hmm. so to ease the load because you're right. There's a lot on your desk. I don't know how you find the bottom of it other than you know where the keyboard is because you always have to have access to that. Mm -hmm. But um, if we a temporary person, let's just say round numbers as a consultant, whatever we were going to buy on a on an annual basis, you probably only it's going to be double that. So if it was a two thousand hour thing, can we can we bring somebody in? Let's just say sixteen hours a week, right? At sixty dollars an hour, right? Yeah. So that'll be a consultant. It's, and you would just be here with the understanding that when we decide that he's done, then he's done, or that person, excuse me. Um, but it's going to come as a cost, right? It's not just going to be a, it's not going to be somebody that's going to do it part time for the same rate, right? So it's, you're going to burn through your, your money quick. As long as we understand that, we should have the money, right? I, would, I was thinking more of a clerical support for her. Well, the town actually has two part time clerical people and they've been great at offering. Legal has a helper now. Her name is Anne. She works up in the fishbowl however many hours a week. She's helping Mark Gerald since he broke his wrist and she's wonderful, clerical. And then we have Laurie who can charge her time to planning too, who she does a lot of scanning and different jobs I think for different departments and I think that is that the type of support you're looking for, right? If for stop gap I know we need a planner. I don't I'm not yeah. saying that. Oh yeah. Yes, we need a planner, but just yeah, if sometimes if I have five applications, I mean, Fred sees me. I mean, I'm literally looking over boxes and I have things all over the place and working more hours. I've been doing 40. Yep. So and, at least. And, um, yeah. And so a lot of times, if it's even a matter of like, hey, can you help me get these certified letters out or, you know, basic things that don't take a lot of time training, I would be thrilled just so that I can would ease finish. your load a little. Yeah, but like I said, I, I, mean, I was just thinking, oh, yeah, yeah. but not take it the way the a planner, somebody who has oh. time to do planning for the town, because I'm just doing, I'm keeping the office afloat and dealing with what I can, but I'm not doing, you know, planning. I'm sorry, Mark, I didn't mean nope. that. I meant it's if she needs someone to help put things away so they're cool. in the right place so she gets the books together, you know, mm. that's what I was Copy thinking when I was saying. It is changing I mean I have two in front of us or two in front of me that each of you has gotten from July 6th and July 7th just coincidence in two days time um, this says it was received on July 10th but applications are still coming in there but they're they're young people that are you know maybe not exactly what we well, want that's want people's salary exactly it's well, a young people's yeah, salary so right. Right. I think that I think Charlie went to the pool is the right comment I yes. mean they may have good academic knowledge, but they don't have any street knowledge. So do we want somebody that can play in the shallow wind and learn to go to the deep end? Or do we want to hire somebody to get in the deep end? I think we need someone. I, I think we have a lot of talent that comes in with the applicants that offers a lot of challenging questions <laughs> and uh, presents um, their case very uh, fluently. And I think that could overwhelm someone younger that hasn't been um, apprenticed mm -hmm. up to ready to take the reins. Maybe, you know, some of these younger ones, they, they need a couple years, I think, to, to, um, to be broken in. Yep. yep. Um, 
So as recently as last night, um, you'll remember that Jack Meddy, our consultant for the village district study, he um, was talking to someone he knows, and that gentleman um, sent me his resume. Definitely looking for kind of a temporary consulting kind of relationship with our town. Just kind of an email, hey, I understand where you're at. Maybe we could get together and talk. Maybe we should get a few of these people in before we, right, we could, I, I haven't sent it out to you because I haven't, I haven't even looked at it, but there are, there is still stuff mm -hmm. going on. There is opportunity out there. Should we interview some of these people? I know Mark Lupley's expressed an interest in having this person come in, um, J. Alex Gray. Should we, inter we've only interviewed one person, right? And do, do we? I thought, I thought it was worth talking to. Right. So should we get the department right first and then put the people in the right positions? Well, what comes first? Or? I don't know how complex the depart what the department should look like can get. I mean, either you have a plan or you don't have a planner. These no coincidence. These both of they both went to Vermont Law for you know uh, land use law. So their attorney type focuses, right? We've had this discussion. Should it be another attorney? Should it be an engineer? Should it be some touchy feely kind of person? Um, Maybe someone that would stay instead of using a stepping stone. Right. An economic so development definitely, person. Definitely a stepping stone. No but this is, a, this is a community that's very challenging. So if somebody's coming out of school and they're looking for a real challenge, I mean, you've got <laughs> the guy that might be. You too might get Traffic overwhelmed school. with that yeah. challenge <laughs> if you're just out of school. Well, I think that's most of my. I know, I know. It's a dynamic place. It's a great opportunity for somebody who would be willing to try to do something um, because there is a lot going on here. And I just think it's short sighted to just get somebody on the cheap, right? We've kind of been down that road. And, and where did it bring us, right? So I, I, I did hear what you said last meeting about, you know, getting someone in to take a look at the office. I've placed that call. Um, I just haven't been able to nail it down. Um, but, uh, you know. I, I think we ought to pursue that, and we, but we need to do it in a timely manner. We need to do it quicker, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, let me ask Fred, is, is there a procurement issue here? Assuming we decide to do that, uh, you know, Mark spoke to right. a firm. I mean, is there a procurement? Not as long as you have the funds in, the, in your account, no. Right now we do. We don't have the five. Salary. The MRI, um, they are the largest recruiting and, and, and uh, consulting firm in the municipal environment right now and this in New England. They do most of the recruiting in New England, and I called Don the minute we had the vacancy. Don oh. Jetton, who's the owner of the firm. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> he told me very frankly, he said, I don't have anybody in New England I can recruit for you. There's nobody out there. <coughs> uh, and that changes from time to time. And uh, you, when you're talking to him, you need to ask him, have you got anybody? Uh, is, is this, <coughs> you can, can you give us somebody temporarily? And they can because they provide temporary people. Well, the, but it's going to cost you. <coughs> yeah, I think, though, we're talking about a, a little different. I think you're talking about a, a kind of an overview of, of the structure. Yeah, if you want to have a consultant, they do that work, too. Yeah. And they're very good at it. <coughs> so that was the purpose of that call. Candidly, I've approached RPC about what the circuit rider is. And Cliff's a little understaffed right now. He just lost a good guy um, to, to another community. And so it's not that, you know, they're kind of obligated to give us a circuit rider. But in all the other communities in Rockingham, it's kind of like, I think he said on the high side, they have somebody given four or eight hours a month. And so, I mean, what does that person really accomplish for us as a circuit rider? We're talking on the light side, 16 hours a day. Excuse me, 16 hours a day, 16 yeah. hours <laughs> per week. Um, so that's more like 64 hours a week. He can only do 10% of half of what we, right? I mean, is that, so the circuit rider idea, just as a, I did look at that a little bit too, um, just loosely, it, it doesn't seem like that really puts the bill. Um, so... I'm not opposed to trying to get somebody part time. If we want to, if you want me to reach out to this guy that Jack Meddy referred us to, see if he wants to try to take it on part time at a at a fairly large hourly rate. I bet I don't know, but um, we'll get him in here and talk to him. 
wouldn't hurt to talk to him. But in the meantime, I think that we should try to find uh, some clerical help for Lori as well. Like I said, if I can be in town, I think there's, I think <coughs> there is room because a lot of other departments do have help, and if there's some way I can grab. Is that reasonable? I would say so because the squeeze is coming in my office. We're starting the budget. Mm -hmm. We're starting mm -hmm. town meeting. Right. We're going to have the town report to do soon. That's a lot. Uh, and all that's going to tie up both uh, Christina's time and mine. And so the other two women that you mentioned have, if we can ask them and if they have time. Well, they may have time available depending on what's right. happening in the department they're right. working in. So. Right. Who manages their, uh, who's, do you manage them or to each uh, department? Department, the departments okay, so they're do not that. Like they're assigned. Okay. Yeah, they're assigned. So that's not an issue. Uh, and, but I know the departments, them. all the department has vindicated they'll help any way they can. Yeah. Can we get her to start off at like eight hours a week or something to, to we or, as, the desk? or as needed? We I, I'd, I'd like to give you a, a certain number of time and then find out if that works, if, if it's too much or too little, just so mm -hmm. that at first it's going to be the big and then it should mm -hmm. cut down until we... Yeah. yeah, well, we just last year, we were allocated that magical copier that should do everything shy of cleaning my house. I mean, there's so much to be done in that department. All those plans are in the big cabinets. I have plenty if somebody wants to get in there and start scanning and save everything on the computer, there's so much to be done. But um, so is it two hours a day, ten hours, whatever? Or two four-hour shifts. Or at this point, whatever. Two, yep, two four-hour shifts. <laughs> I, I'd say let, let, let's ask so them what they're willing to do and and do it. Yeah, Christy, I did ask Christy Pulliam. She's the Mike Schwartzer position, and she just said just allocate the time to planning. So maybe it's something we work in our budget, in the interim, you know. Take some one of the, the columns and add a little something for backup, unless we have plenty because we don't have the planner salary in right. there right now. Right. So we have we the do. money. What's that? We have the money right now. Yeah. We have the money. That's right. Yeah. So we gotta, as long as it gets billed to us. So you us. have two candidates, you want to use them both? Well, there's two, yeah. Ann, who works part-time, and she's wonderful, and, and Laurie. So I think Laurie. let's approach them. Whether and they're familiar with the copiers. Or or does it. How does that work? Who, who approaches them? She approach them, do I do approach that. them? You we approach them. Do that. Two of us could do that. Okay, great. Let's Excellent. do that. We'll, we'll get you some support staff. Yep. Right. There we go. You don't need a motion for that, do you? No, nope. just direction. Um, so should we do we need to budget a number so that we're not actually going? no, you have a, you have funds no. available. What we'll do is we'll keep an accounting of them. I don't want someone so thir you know, twenty eight hours and we really don't need them twenty eight hours. I I, I oh. just want they have set hours already. So okay. sometimes they show up and they don't know which department they're working in. Like Laurie might be told, you need to. So they're floating in. subs. One is yeah. a floating, and one is working more with Mark Gerald right. as a helper. Okay. okay. I, I don't know how any of that works. Which one is that, Ann? Ann. 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 Yeah. Ann's that, really nice. She's she's, a, she's, she's done a lot of municipal type work, and she's right. a mm -hmm. old, you know, retired or whatever. Super, yep. and after she's a really good worker. Absolutely. And energetic. <laughs> Very yeah, much. She's at the, uh, after I, a few months, we can figure out how much HVAC. we yeah. do need or we don't. I, I just want to help her. She's at the Hampton yeah. Area okay. Commission, and she does a great job. We'll, we'll start out with a with a modest number of hours and see how that works. If it yeah. needs to be increased or decreased, we can adjust Perfect. for it. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Excellent. And I won't feel bad because they already have set schedules, so they already have an agenda to do something someday, whatever their hours are. But if I can grab them, as, as you know, when there's an application deadline day, then it's like oh. 10 of 12. It's like, oh, my gosh. Right. So that's a crazy week. And then maybe the next week I'm like, okay. I'm just regular crazy. And that would help us get stuff in a more timely manner as well. I say let's I think do so. it for sure. Okay, great. Yeah. So yeah. it's no coincidence that Mark Lubley liked the person that he liked, and I've heard some others say that they like the sounds of that person too. I actually like the other one. I like the female. Should I get the, <laughs> we do, we agreed that? that there isn't a female involved. There's no female? <laughs> J. Alex. J. Alex Gray is the one that Mark likes. What's and this gentleman's other? name is Andrew. I don't know which one of those is a woman, but I wasn't there. Sure talking their names on TV. They may not have their employers even know that they're looking for love. <laughs> Whatever. Well, let's hope that their employers don't work. <laughs> they're out there. Right. They, they, they can't see Channel 22, maybe. There's no woman. I like I, both of these there? people. I, thought I, I think we should get them in girl. here. I'm sorry. What we want to do, can we, can we uh, set up for a special non public meeting next? When, I mean, the Wednesday of the ahead of our regular meeting. Yeah. Next yeah. Wednesday, maybe at six. At the minute no, no, show. No, the twenty. Uh, we. Sh what is our next meeting? Third or something. Oh, oh, the next meeting would be August. Oh, right before our crazy meeting. 
September 3rd. <laughs> oh, August 6th, not a good idea. It's going to be a long meeting. Well, do we want to have, I, I'm let's, available. Me too. Let's, let's, yeah, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. we got to do it. Well, yeah, of course we do. We don't have a lot of choice. We should probably do it at 5 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have so two of these. An hour oh, each. That's fine too. Maybe next week sometime in between our meetings. Wednesday, next Wednesday. Shoot for Wednesday. I'll, I'll, I'll well, we have to adjourn this with a, a specific date for the non-public, correct? No, I want to. No, if I'm going to no. be a, no. Let's not have it on a different. <laughs> we're going to tie up two Wednesday nights. I mean, one it'd be a long night, but who cares? You want to come in here on the night that we're not here? I'd rather do a long night than do a two-hour night. I can and do either. Doesn't matter. Either way, fine with me. <laughs> I'd rather just make it one long one. So right. on the night of the August, August sixth. Sixth. Right. At six o'clock. At five. No, at we five. got. You right. should, if we're going to do two, oh, you've yeah. got to go one hour each. Hour each. Even yeah. I mean, if Four. you went. No, but if you want five thirty, but not not. Yeah. Five thirty. Not right. six. Yeah. Five thirty. That gives them forty-five minutes each. Then. Right. And are we deciding on the last two that I sent out that were both Vermont? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I could have sworn one of them had a female name. I'm sorry. Mark it doesn't Mark. matter. <laughs> no, but I like it. If one of them decides not to come, you can change the just True. Look like a nice <laughs> boy like named Sue. So. Right. <laughs> right. That's all. It's just a good resume. <laughs> Do we want to talk about the budget, or do we need to talk about it anymore? It sounds like Fred's willing to give us to the end of the month, and at worst case, the board of selectmen into would our code. We'll work it. Than that. Okay. We'll yeah, I mean, the key to me is that salary account, and I, I you know, I, I, I think we ought to kick that up. But we may need to go to the budget committee. I understand. Somebody will have. Well, you're talking about next year's budget. But it, right. No, but we would go to the budget committee to get it in this year's budget in case we have a default next year. Well. You need to take a vote as a board to do that, and you need to go to the board of selectmen, not the budget committee. The selectmen make the decision as to whether or not funds will be taken from the undesignated fund balance. And then once they make that decision, they have to go to the budget committee and ask them for permission to do it. If the budget committee approves it, we then go to the state and ask them permission to do it. It gets to be an elongated process, so under the statute. So there are three different check levels here. So. Yeah, well, we're ready Short to go forward with that. So that case we hire just to submit I one with a higher amount of the money. You, if you're going to hire somebody and you're going to need a higher amount of money, you need to put sufficient funds in there, and that would once you do that, once those funds are earmarked in there, uh, I believe they'll follow the default budget that way. Yeah. My well, point simply is, I don't want to be left standing on the pier with being told that the boat is sailed. Right, you know, yeah, right. we left a week ago and we didn't want to be there. Yeah, yeah. but is it? Do, do we just choose an arbitrary number of 15,000 or 20,000 and then have some left over? And how does that happen? I don't want to, I don't want to ask for something that someone says, oh no, that's too much when we only needed 10. But if we, if we ask for 10 and we need 20, then where are we? So maybe we can discuss that. What is the number? The same, num the same night as, as, as my, the my number would be 25, but uh. yeah, my number <laughs> would be to go to 75,000. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That would be my number. If looking at that report we got, but, how is that number calculated? Is this a FICA FUTA, uh, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, long-term disability and our retirement in it? On top of that's that. all that's a different budget. That. That's in a different budget, but we don't have to account for that in our budget. No, that comes out of finance. Okay. I think the other part of it is if we were to go out again to seek out a new planner, we should send it out with a range just because we have 75000 and there's, a, right, there's, right. A, there's a top. Say we can't to. say it's not to say right. it couldn't be. You can say up to seventy-five thousand based on experience. Yes, yes. Right. And right. We, so we're we not should gonna... set up a bottom end as well, but we're not ready to do that. But you know, whatever it is, but a range. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I also think that our, I don't know that we need a secretary in the planning department. I think we need a planning assistant, and I think that job description should be changed a little, and the salary should be accommodating to that. Yeah, that's fine. I think Fred wants to add. I think that's the way it needs it needs to go that way because she's really learning she's an assistant planner now she really is not just a secretarial support she's that's also your administrative assistant job training right so i mean for what with her experience now she can leave us too and then we we'll, won't have enough money to replace her <laughs> but with her experience now you somebody... know i guess that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> that's, a, that's a true and, statement and i i think that i think her job description should be what she does. I think the, the rule of thumb you need to look at here is that for every uh, administrative assistant you've had in the planning office that's been any good, 
They've been yeah. hired away. They've left. Stole it. Well, they've been hired away because yeah. you pay, they, they get more money yeah. just being a clerk someplace else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But if we need to change the job description. You need to change, change it. it. Right. Okay. Other business? Yeah.